Hey folks, it's Duke here from GeoFolks. Today we're going to work on exporting features from one feature class using Model Builder. So say we want to break up the states and we want each state to be its own feature. We could go to the attribute table, select the one we want, right click on the feature class and click data and then export features one by one for all 50 plus of the states and U.S. territories. But that is inefficient. So today we'll work on building a model builder and we'll use the model builder to export features. So we'll clear our selection. We'll go to analysis. We'll click on model builder. I like to drag it up to the top view frame, but that's personal preference. Okay. From here, we can start to add variables into our model. So you can see here, I dragged the U S feature class over straight into the model. Then I'm going to go to iterators. I'm going to iterate feature selection. So just a little bit of background about the iterate feature selection tool. It iterates over features in a feature class. So let's say I input feature class, which for us will be U.S. states and territories. Each of them has a distinct name. So what this tool will do is we'll go to each name, select that and only that feature, then run through the model, the rest of the model, then go back again select the next name, the next unique value, and run through the rest of the model. And so this is why this is helpful with isolating different polygons within a feature class. So now that we understand the iterate by feature selection, you can click on your feature class, drag an arrow, and select in features. Then we can double click on the iterate feature selection. And then within the fields, we'll select the name. For us, the name is the field that will identify each unique feature. So this is the field that we want to um, iterate through. So then we'll go to analysis tools and we'll type in export features. Once we have it, we can drag this into the model. From there, we'll click on a green output of the iterate feature selection and we'll drag an arrow from that to the export features tool and we'll select input features. So now when we double click on export features, we can pick a folder to save all the different shape files in. So we'll name this state. And then for the name of each individual shape file, we'll put a percent sign, then we'll put value and then another percent sign and then dot SHP. What this means is, for each specific value that is selected for, it will get a name as it iterates. So for Alabama, the state of Alabama, that will be one shape file, Louisiana, another. And as it works through this list of the field name that we have here, it will create each shape file. So we can validate our model and we can hit run. You can check the box to your bottom left that says, close on completion if you want the model to close out after it has run. But now we'll just wait for all the shape files to be completed. So when the model is finished, you can hit the X and close it out. And we'll go back to our map and then we'll determine if our model was successful. We'll turn off our original feature class and then we'll go into the states folder and see if each state was exported separately. So there we have Alabama. Let's check another one. Utah. And it seems that our model was r run successfully. It's always important to check your model outputs and determine if your model actually performed successfully. So one thing you can also do to import all the different state shape files is click on one, hold shift, and then click on the others. And this will highlight or select each one between the bounds of the two clicks. Once you have that, you can hit OK. And that's an easy way to get all your shape files into the map at once. So this is just a quick way to teach you guys how to export different features from a feature class using Model Builder. Thanks.
If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content.